Oh, it's a pretty epic day of sailing, that's for sure. Certainly in these AC-75s, we had quite a big sea state running out there in the northerly, northeast, northerly, and, and then round to northwest breeze direction, so 17, 20 knots. Uh, gusts of 25 knots came in for, with a rain squall. Pretty extreme for these boats, it was a handful. Uh, we managed to muscle the boat around the course and the guys just did a great job in handling the boat and getting it around for a win over Luna Rosa. I don't know much about what happened. I've seen a video of the manoeuvre and it's just horrific, you know, and you don't want to see that for, for anyone, uh, you know, either your own team or any other team. You know, we're, we're going out there racing hard against one another, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's a sporting contest and we want everyone to be safe and we want everyone to be racing. So I just, you know, I feel for those guys, for Dean and Terry, the rest of the team, and I really hope they're able to sort things out and get back on track. No one wants to see that. Well, it was a very strange day, a uh, very long day, um, very wavy, choppy, uh, wind all over the places. Um, we knew that it was going to be hard, but uh, wow, that was very, really, really hard. Well, um, the conditions were very hard and uh, I mean, it's not no surprise that there was a capsize. It, it was very puffy and gusty. Uh, still some chop behind um, and uh, very hard maneuvers to do because it was almost a one-way track so the Americans decided to do a tech better way which is a uh, very hard maneuver to pull off on those conditions uh, they were brave um, uh, but I mean I feel sorry for them just, I, mainly because it was not just a cup size it was a, an hard one they're still in the water trying to get the boat home, and so that's not a normal capsule.